Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. Again, Monroe? It's only been a week. I know. I just can't stop myself. What is it this time? I've been taking too many selfies. Well, they say pride cometh before a fall. Which is why I won't do it on a cliff. This isn't much of a confession, Munro. Haven't you got something more scandalous? You haven't seen the selfies. Sounds like Munro's beyond saving. I've been lustful. Munro, I'm shocked. Lustful for our listeners and their dirty, dirty secrets. I just can't get enough of them. Hear that, listeners? She's insatiable. I really am. You'd better not leave her hanging. Phone in now and tell us what naughty things you've been up to. In? Confession Booth. Now remember, callers, no last names, no strings attached, and no consequences. Just call in to confess and let us absolve you of all of your sins. It's cheaper than therapy. And almost as effective. This isn't blasphemous, is it, Monroe? God, I hope not. Excellent. Oh, we have a caller on line one. Line one, you're through to the confession booth. Oh yeah, it's me. You're live on air, line one. What's your name? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Beck. Welcome, Beck. Spill forth the burning secrets of your tormented soul. He means, what do you want to confess? I, um, crashed my boss's car. Oh, no. That's terrible. Were you hurt? No, no, but the, uh, the car was, uh, totaled. It was a Rolls. Ugh. Wow. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really bad. Well, how did it happen? Were you swerving? To avoid something? Yeah, there was an animal in the road. It was uh, really hairy. It must have been uh, a bear or something else, because it was huge. A hairy bear? As big as a human. Honestly, maybe bigger. I remember because it was a full moon. A full moon, you say? Yeah, about, say, about a month ago. Interesting. What happened to the animal? I ran off. I don't think it was hurt, but I did hear howling. Howling? Yeah, like a, like a wolf. Like, um, ow! Well, that was terrible, obviously, but like a wolf. Well, that sounds mysterious, doesn't it, Poe? It does indeed. Thank you for your confession, Beck. Yes, thank you, Beck. It sounds like you're still traumatized by your experience, but I'm glad you weren't physically hurt. Father Poe says, you are forgiven. Oh. And we'll be back for more confessions after this message. Well, that was kind of strange, wasn't it, Poe? Yes, although I get the feeling he was angling for something. Really? Seem genuine to me. You don't think... No, I'm being silly. You're not being silly, Alice. I suspect he was trying to make us think the same thing. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. You don't think there could be werewolves in August, do you? It does seem unlikely. Poe, you're not going to believe this, but there's a full moon tonight. Maybe we should leave early and check it out. Don't you have other plans? It's your birthday tomorrow. I wasn't planning on having an early night. Let me call Gwendolyn. Welcome back, listeners. This is Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. And we're in the confession booth. The confession booth. Line two, you're through to Father Poe. 
Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. What is your name, child? Casper. And what dark anguish burns your mortal soul? Casper. He means, what would you like to confess? Nothing. There's actually something else I wanted to talk about. Okay. Off the air. Well, you'll have to wait um, a little while, Casper, until after the show. Well, I could wait until then, but that might not give you enough time. Time for what? To save yourself. Well, you're in luck, Casper, as I have a story queued up. Listeners will be back in a few minutes after this spooky tale. Okay, Casper. It's just us now. Casper, I don't know how long you've been listening to our show, but if you're trying to play a game of cat and mouse, just know it's been done before. Much better. You talking about Frankie? That was brilliant. I was totally hooked. What is it you wanted to tell us, Casper? What are we saving ourselves from this time? Don't go to Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. Well, we might be. The werewolf, remember? Yes, you are. But you shouldn't. And why is that, Casper? Because it will be the last time anyone sees you. Why? I can't give details. But something bad will happen if you go to Wolf Lane tonight. <sighs> you know, if you want us to take you seriously, perhaps elaborate on the something bad will happen bit. There's a billion other places you could go. And I'm just asking you to avoid one. But if you have a death wish, go to Wolf Lane. Is that a death threat, Casper? No. This is your future. Trust me. I know. Because you have a time machine? Because I was there when it happened. Well, thank you, Casper. But I don't think you've quite grasped the concept of the... Well, we're certainly putting the dark and dark nights tonight, August. Maybe we should stop taking calls. Nonsense, Munro. What would this show be without the heady mix of terror and titillation provided by our callers? Well, this radio host has been titillated enough for one night, which is good, because it's time for Betty Buys. Sweet dreams, August. Thank you for listening. Yes, and remember, don't have nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. So what do you think? I think it's only a matter of time before Casper tries to kill us. He's just an attention seeker. So am I. I'm not trying to kill anyone, though. So what do you want to do about it? I don't know. He didn't really threaten us, so probably doesn't warrant getting the police involved. Are you sure? No. I just wish... I wish we could have one simple, uneventful, boring night. I don't think you'd like boring, Miss Monroe. You're right. Which is why we're going werewolf hunting. Casper didn't put you off? No. Telling me not to do something makes me want to do it twice as hard. Really? Well, definitely don't do the whistle swinger again. You like the whistle swinger, don't you? No. Even if it's twice as hard? We're not going to make it out of here if you keep talking like that. So, still fancy a trip to Wolf Lane? Oh! There's a good boy. You really think we can see werewolves? It would be foolish to rule it out altogether. I know it's almost your birthday, but, well, a full moon waits for no man. Or werewoman. Exactly. I guess it could be romantic. You and me, huddled in the car, Looking at the stars? They say Wolf Lane's the best place in August for stargazing. Do they? 
There's hardly any light pollution. That must be why the werewolves like it. What about you know who? I've told her I'll be late. Just late? Well, we'll see. You go ahead. I need to check something. Who are you calling? Hi. Sorry, one minute. Okay, I'm going. Hi, it's Monroe. No, no, you're great. Totally convincing. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Oh? It's all right, Alice. You don't need to do that. It's not a hold-up. I beg to differ. This is for your own protection. Who are you? I'm Casper Light. I'm... From the show. You just called into our radio show. Oh, no. I must have come back again. Are you okay? No. This means I've already failed. What is it you want exactly? I work for a company called Coit Industries. They do experimental stuff. A scientist? No, I'm Eminem. The rapper? Mishaps and malfunctions. We clean up messes. I'm here to save you. Save us from what? Disassembly. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. You told us not to when you called, so we're going straight home. Isn't that right, Monroe? Yeah. I'm so tired. <sighs> See? There's no need for any of this. Please, put the gun down. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. Don't try it. It always ends badly. Rock, paper, scissors? Oh. Okay. Back you go. What happened? He sucker punched us from behind. Where are we? Are you okay? We're in the sound booth at the studio. Why? I don't know. He's locked us in. I've tried the door already. Is there another way out? Death? I'm assuming Casper will let us out when he's done with us. Ugh. Happy birthday to me. You said you wanted to try something different this year. I'm sorry I had to do that. It's to keep you safe. I work for a company called Coit Industries. We specialize in speculative technology. I say we, the science team do the heavy lifting. I'm just m and mishaps and malfunctions. It's my job to clean up the results. Normally I don't intervene, just let it happen, then clear up. But people will still be listening to you years from now because I've saved you. So the whole werewolves thing. I didn't want to wake up alone. I don't get it. Let's face it, birthday or not, you'd have gone home to your wife after the show. I know you'd have stayed late and we'd have had some fun, but 
Eventually you'd leave. Like you always do. Monroe. I just wanted someone to wake up with. To wish me happy birthday and give me a hug. But what's that got to do with Wolf Lang? Nothing. It doesn't matter now. Maybe if you get a time machine, you'll find out. Okay, it's like this. Around midnight, you're on Wolf Lane. At the same time, an organization I can't name is testing a, an experimental weapon. The test glitches, you get fried and m and are called in for disposal because it's not your normal run of the mill explosion. Tomorrow, the news spreads that you've vanished. You're never found. Time travel is Coit's most profitable service. The key is subtlety. You don't use it to kill Hitler. You use it to manipulate election results, justify wars, or in my case, rescue two local radio hosts so you can keep listening to their show. You're welcome, by the way. Let us out! Let us out! No point yelling, Munro. It's soundproof in and out. Fine. Let's use our mind power to open the door. So that is how the world ends. You didn't hear it from me. I wish you'd say something. I'm just gonna go. I'll leave it another minute just to be safe though. Good luck, Poe and Monroe. Did I just open that with my mind? Try locking it again. Or we could just leave. What if your telekinesis only works in this room and only on your birthday? Wouldn't you want to know? You happy? You're my superwoman, Monroe. Either way. Feeling any pain downstairs? No. Then it doesn't work. Yes. Best not to mess with telekinesis. Ladies first. Thanks, Poe. Let's hope Casper isn't out there. Wait. Sorry, I forgot. There's still time to go to Wolf Lane, if you'd like. You're driving. Are you sure this is wise? The guy was crazy, Poe. Maybe he was on drugs. Maybe he heard us talking about Wolf Lane on the show and thought he'd have some fun. I suppose you're right. Besides... You said the police will pick him up. It's not like he's going to follow us here. Well, he definitely knows where we're going. Maybe we shouldn't be out here on our own. You're not afraid of werewolves, are you? I didn't have you down as the werewolf hunting type either. I like to keep you on your toes, which reminds me. Hot chocolate. I thought we might be here a while. When did you have time to make this? During the last break. But that was before the call-in. What else did I bring? Let me see. Wine? Nighty. Don't drink and drive, Monroe. No, silly. That's for after. After? I might have something planned. Are we having a sleepover, Monroe? Well, it is awfully late. Isn't there a motel near here? Well, yes, there is, Poe. What's going on? I have a confession to make. I already booked us a room.
It's Casper. What should we do? I call the police. Wait. Maybe we should talk to him. Are you insane? The, well, the gun was fake. How do you know? It was made of plastic. My point is, I don't think he's trying to hurt us. He thinks he's genuinely trying to help. A moment ago, you were calling him crazy. I... I... <sighs> do what you feel you must. You can't, can't be, be here. here. Wait, what? Poe's already called the police. They're looking for you. Go home, Casper. You know who I am? You're kidding, right? Please, I'm trying to save your life. I'm going to open this door now, and you're going to save all of us. Lock it, Alice. Lock it. You're right. I need to be less trusting. Police. On hold, obviously. You have to leave! Let's just go. Home sweet home? No, we're going to the motel. Hmm. So, there are no werewolves? No. They're partying with August vampires. And you paid Beck to call in? No. I told him it was an audition. But why? I needed to give you a reason to stay. And Casper? Nothing to do with me. It's your birthday. I'm supposed to surprise you. You did. Just not in a good way. It's barely started. You've got the whole day to look forward to. Can you stay? You really want me to stay? Isn't it obvious? Then I'll stay. I will leave her one day. Poe, what turned you into such a monster? Gwendolyn is lovely. Gwen, she's not so nice. Because she's unfaithful? I only caught her that once. Well, Virginia caught her. Virginia's twelve. She was nine. Gwen never apologized. Gwen gave up her career. Gwen gave up her youth. Gwen sleeps around. And so do I now. Do you still love her? Yes. If it was just Gwendolyn... I know. Your kids. I'll be fine. You should go. I'll call you in the morning to say happy birthday. Sure. Good night, Alice. Night, Bo. It's eight o'clock, and this is your August update. A broken gas pipe on Wolf Lane caused an explosion last night that claimed the life of entrepreneur Venice Pavel. 29-year-old Miss Pavel was the newly appointed CEO of Intervine Futures, a company whose breakthrough research in quantum mechanics promised consumer teleportation within the next five years. A gas leak on Wolf Lane. The weather tonight will be clear and dry with highs of 12 and lows of 8. And that's your August update. A gas leak on Wolf Lane? We need to check these updates before we go live. That could have been us. I'm not sure that I believe any of that. You think Casper caused the explosion? Probably. He just didn't want us on his conscience. Why? Why not kill all of us? I don't have a crystal ball or a time machine. 
I don't know. Teleportation. Miss Pavel was competition. He said he was saving us. Maybe he didn't. Maybe Miss Pavel wouldn't have been at Wolf Lane if we'd been there. Or if we'd have been there, we'd have saved her. Well, August police can deal with all of that now. August police need to outsource. Good thinking. And your brain is as big and wonderful as your heart. Oh, you shouldn't have. Hurry. It's time for our first caller. Line one, you're on the air. You're live on air, Line One. What should we call you? Oh, yeah, it's me. Whoa, hey! Hang up! Help! He's got a gun! Hang up! Back? Don't! I can't let you tell them where to go. Don't! Don't! Back? Back? Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Welcome back to Radio August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Good news, Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. Don't worry, you'll not be hungry for much longer. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. She doesn't want you to get out. She wants to eat souls. <laughs> Dark Nights. With Poe and Monroe.